to all the new subs. It seems odd to have to keep saying that, but apparently belligerent, opinionated assholes are popular on the internet. Who knew? Seriously though, I'm going to shout out a few people that helped me try to get someone with this whole fast talking complete bell end routine. Obviously I wouldn't be nowhere without Easy Now and the Hovis Man. Barry hates me saying thank you, so I'll just say this. I did it all on my own, you did fucking nothing, Kappa. Some newer people that have either liked videos, subbed or followed on Twitter that I'd like to thank before commencing the hate are I Temp, I'm Kazza, O Trademark, J Nasty, FPS Addiction, Wings, Brumac, DPJ, Frito and Brian the Schwanz 27. I appreciate it guys, thanks very much. All of that disgusting outlay of affection leads me conveniently onto my new jam. That is the question I get asked a lot. How do you grow on YouTube? Now you might think that's an odd question to ask someone who has under 2k subs. You'd be right to think that's odd. It's like asking a Sunday League football player about the pressures of being Lionel Messi. How do I handle all the bitches and fast cars who say? Naturally, obviously, it's what I fucking deserve. I'm fucking sick, fam. Truth is, the whole YouTube thing is a popularity contest. The cool kids get together in their little fucking cliques and support each other's content. I'm not bitter, but unless you're in that group, there's very little you can do. Or so you'd think. There are two answers to this question. Both are tremendous fucking cliches, and it makes me sick to repeat, but they are true, so here goes. Firstly, you have to make your content different. Otherwise, you'll be heading to a party with the popular kids wearing the same dress as the most popular girl in school. They won't accept you, only mock you for wearing the cheap imitation of the real dress that they have made in Topshop. Here's a word of advice. Don't think you can record average gameplay and talk ineloquently over it and explode overnight. It's not going to happen. Trust me, I tried that. Secondly, you have to sell yourself. I especially hate this bit. It's a thankless task and hardly ever works. Most people take the spam approach. That's a bad idea. Don't be a complete dick. It's obvious when you just want something from people. I'm lucky in a way. If I think I've got a good chance of making people laugh, then I'll tweet them a video. If you tweet people over and over and over, they'll just fucking block you. Here's the naked truth. YouTube is not worth doing. Not really. Not if you want to do it for money to avoid getting a real job. If you think you're ever going to get to a Woody or T. Martin level, let me tell you, you're fucking deluded. The only reason I do this is because I like making people laugh. Apparently being a cynical, rude douchebag is enough these days. I honestly thought it was going to be harder. Never mind, I'm needy in vain, so I'll take it. Pay me attention, I need it. The only valid reason to do this is if you enjoy it. I love editing and designing and writing. Everything from the animation to the graphics I do myself, and that's rewarding. Other than that, I have a real life to contend with. So there you go, that's the truth about doing YouTube. Don't bother if you think you're going to get anywhere. While I'm here, I'm just going to take a passing shot at the bigger channels, the self-entitled little shits. You're not fucking gods. You could do more to help those that are smaller than you. You're not in competition with anyone because people can't get enough content to watch. I know I can't. A like or retweet takes two fucking seconds. You got the time, fam. You play video games for a living.